We Are Ocean is all about using our emotional connection to the ocean to support ocean literacy. Through working with colleagues around the world on the UN Decade of Ocean Science and Sustainable Development, it has become really clear that the decade isn't going to be considered a success by the number of scientific papers that are produced. It's going to be a success if more people are ocean literate and the ocean is healthier at the end. Humans have been studying the ocean for hundreds of years, uh, so there's huge amounts of uh, data out there and some fantastic explorations of the ocean with some inspirational scientists. But actually, if we want to engage everybody, if we really want an ocean literate society, if we really want people to understand why a healthy ocean is important to them and how they impact the ocean in a negative way, we have to do that through enjoyment and love and creativity and emotion regarding the ocean rather than setting out quite worrying facts and figures about what the future might look like. What We Are Ocean can do is take those facts and figures um, and support ocean literacy, but through a, a heart connection. We borrow from the hack culture in which we are idea-led, bring the right organizations around, uh, hope to attract funding to those ideas and build them. It's scientists, it's people working NGOs in the front lines and businesses, all coming together to find new solutions. Often when people join us for the first time, they've never really uh, taken part in, in a design hack. We'll come up with our question, what is it that we want answered? What is our audience? And then really that's where the collective hands over to the, the people in the room that are kind of inspired from that moment. In a way, break some of the boundaries around what is the normal way of working. There's uh, no ownership over the initiatives and the programmes. It's people that are there at the time and that want to go with the project that they've come up with and use their energy to, to move it forward with support from the core We Are Ocean collective. Our heart-based approach really makes sure that any of the programmes, initiative, activities that we do are kind of filtered through that emotional connection. It's often when skill sets come from different organisations and different sectors that the possibility of new ideas can come about. There's both the diversity but the richness in the solutions and the ideas that the, that the collective comes up with. Hello everyone, it's really nice to be here today. So far, We Are Ocean has achieved two summits. We've also launched Waves, which is a brilliant communications toolkit that really places emotional connection to ocean at the heart. We also use technology to install some interactive billboards around the UK that showed that the sea is in the sky every time it rained. Someone came up with a simple phrase, why couldn't uh, World Ocean Day be like World Book Day? For me, World Ocean Day for schools is really special because it's all about fun and it's all about children expressing their love for the ocean with their friends at school but then also with all of the other schools that take part uh, during the day. The numbers, I guess, speak for themselves in terms of the amount of people that have signed on, uh, taken on the lessons and really gotten on board with over 5,000 schools taking part, mainly in the UK, but also with its digital presence, with schools tuning in from all around the world. If we really are going to have a healthy ocean, then it's really important that people understand what the ocean does, but not only understand, also act in ways that are positive for the ocean. We're a firm believer that not one organization is gonna be able to solve this problem. This new form of organizing, a new way of working, is growing in strength. Uh, and the last four years is a case study in that success. The future for We Are Ocean is to carry on being flexible, to carry on looking for opportunities that the UN Decade presents to us, but also not lose our ethos and lose who we are. We hope to bring more and more people into the network, people that love the ocean as much as we do, and perhaps change how networks and organisations work together. We're not going to be able to have a healthy ocean unless We Are Ocean and networks like it exist.